Down in Fort Worth, Texas, there's a housing boom. Go, go, go. But it's not what you think. Whole neighborhoods are being rebuilt, and Wheeler dealers lock it in. are scooping up the old houses before they're torn down and moving them out to remodel and flip for profit. It's a risk of this. But here in Longhorn Country, there are three family companies competing for the cash. They're flipping houses at record time. And the good folks of Texas come from all over. Take a look around, see what you think of her. To buy bargains. 25,000 now. And move them to their own land. So, so, so. It's flipping and moving Texas style. A 50-minute drive out of Fort Worth down State Highway 199, and you'll find yourself in Poolville. It's not a bad area. You know, you can get houses in and out of here, and the roads aren't too bad. Our Texas flipping movers are heading out here for an auction. Up for grabs is a garage that's been converted into a shed, and it's just 20 feet by 20 feet. I want to hurry up and get there. I want to get a look at this building before, and we know Randy's going to show oh, up. Oh, he will. He was there last time. Got some tricks up my sleeve. As long as we get a house, a good structure for the right price, I've got a lot of great ideas for. All right, we're always looking for a new project, babe. Well, look at that dinky little thing. It's a good size. Shouldn't be a problem to move. No, it's it's really really neat. It's a really really neat garage. This could be anything. That's what's good about this. Could be anything. Blank slate. This thing's sitting on a slab. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get up underneath that. Not only that, now you that's throwing the cost of putting the subfloor under it. Subfloors, they can be expensive. Materials and labor, that could run a couple thousand dollars on this building. And without a subfloor, it's going to be difficult to move. Look, two windows. No walls. You don't know that? I'm telling you, there ain't nothing to it. I think it's too small, too much to do, and it's not really our thing. 12 foot 6. Hey, girl. Oh, hey. Man, this is a tiny little old shed here, ain't it? 400 square feet. Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't hardly worth messing with for me. Now, we know that. Oh. Yeah. Big picture here, baby. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. Those snow girls, they're rascals. They're always coming up with some way to make those young guns pay more money for them houses. <laughs> and I like being part of it. <laughs> you want to? Y'all yeah. are just mean. Don't hey, you just flat out no, mean. No, no, no. Hey, let's talk no, it up. No, no. Let's talk it up. Let's talk no. it up. Hey, guys. Y'all checking out the little garage? The little garage? Well, we, 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 we kind of like this. Yeah. This building has a lot of potential. See? That's what I was thinking. Potential. Potential. You ladies don't understand it. Potential means lots of work. We can do whatever we want with this. Oh, police. Uh, we are not interested in the house. We are here just looking, okay? So we are going to continue on just looking at the house. Oh, my right. God. Let's go, babe. We're just looking. Auction time, auction time, auction time. My name's Steve Smith, Warehouse 31, and I'll be your auctioneer today in Poolville, Texas. Up on the auction block behind me, we have 400 square feet of potential. Turn it into a she shed, a mother in law suite, whatever you'd like. Who's going to start me off at a $100 bid? $100 where? $100 bid where? How about $75? $75 bid now? $75? We start me off at $75. How about about $50? $50 uh, bid? I, I'll start it out at $50. Just, just call the can. Thank you. Fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five now. Seventy five now. Seventy five now. Seventy five. William is a seventy five dollar bid now. Hundred. Hundred dollar bid now. Twenty five now. Twenty five. William is twenty five. Hundred bid now. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five dollar bid now. Fifty. Hundred twenty five dollar bid now. Fifty. Hundred fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five now. Seventy five. William is seventy five. Hundred seventy five dollar bid now. Two. Hundred seventy five. Two hundred dollar bid now. Twenty five now. Twenty five. Two hundred twenty five dollar bid now. Two fifty. Two hundred fifty dollar bid now. Seventy five now. Seventy five. William is seventy five. Two hundred seventy five dollar bid now. Three hundred. Three hundred now. Three hundred. Three hundred dollar bid now. Three twenty five now. Three twenty five. William is twenty five. All in last call. Three hundred dollar bid now. Twenty five now. Twenty five. William is twenty five. I thought you wasn't going to be bidding. I didn't bid. I mean, you said you didn't like it. I don't like it. You didn't get a handle on her. Hey. But I'm glad you didn't get it. <laughs> oh, that's how it is, huh? Hey. Okay. Woo! All right. Mm -hmm. Go look at our house. Go spend your money. All right. You ready? Yeah. Open the door. Let's see what we got in here. Look. Ha-ha! <laughs> exactly what I expected. Nothing. Ha-ha. We can, you know... Make something with it. We'll figure that out. But yeah, and how about none of that stuff that the auctioneer said? A she shack or whatever? None of that. Either way, it's worth three hundred dollars. Let me bring you back now to reality, okay? Um, okay? You see the floor here? This is concrete, which means we can't move the slab. So we're gonna have to pick it up, and build a new wood floor underneath it. Way over the other side of Fort Worth is the city of Grapevine, home to the historic Vintage Railroad. 
It's a city that's going upscale with plenty of old houses being cleared for new. Making way for a new development is this whole place. 950 square feet of California bungalow. I wouldn't mind adding to our inventory. Kind of keep that inventory top full. I need a new product. I got a little cha-ching I can spin. Yeah, this is my kind of thing right here, babe. We like buying houses in the city. We can't be driving out to the country all the time buying little bird shacks. A bad looking old house. That's what I need. Something looks like that. God, what an ugly color. It looks like Randy done already painted Honey, it. the color can be changed like that. Golly, it looks like baby throw up. I like that roof. This looks like it's in excellent shape. It's so cute. It really is kind of cute. The windows look like they're in great shape. Mm -hmm. Low silhouette. Everything looks... Well taken care of. Yeah. Well maintained. The house might look well maintained, but... Not good, not good. Nothing gets past Randy. Termite damage, water damage. <laughs> I really like this house, but one thing I don't like is all that water damage. I guarantee you, you can lose a pile of money or you can make a pile of money. Oh, that's plastic. That's about as cheap as you can go there. All we would really need is to change the paint. That's it. That's kind Windows of look good. It's got an eagle porch. Wouldn't need that much except for the only thing about when they've been taken care of like this, everybody thinks they're worth so much money. I say we put our two cents in and see if we can come up with it. Mm -hmm. How much is two cents? Really? One plus one, one plus one, she's right. I know y'all really aren't going to bid two cents on this. Yeah. Hey, don't get it twisted, dude. You might be hey, thinking hey, the house hey, looks hey. so good because I'm leaning up against it. Hey, hey. I walk away from it, it might be a pile of junk. You're, you know what I mean? Is he a legend in his own mind? You're being misled in by mine. his In his, in, in in his, his oh, mind. okay. That explains a lot. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, got a lovely bungalow house, all green, the color of money. Let's go. 100 where? 100. I think about 100. Not two. I think about three. I think about three. Not four. 100. Not five. 100. 100. Not six. Six. Not seven hundred. I think about seven hundred. Not eight. Eight hundred. Not nine. I think about nine hundred. Not one thousand. One thousand. Not eleven. Eleven hundred. Not twelve. Twelve. Not thirteen. Thirteen. Not fourteen. Fourteen. Not about fifteen. Fifteen. Not about sixteen. Sixteen. Now seventeen. Seventeen. Not about seventeen. Not about seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. Where? Seventeen. Not about sixteen. Now seventeen. Sixteen. Fifty. More than I have. Now seventeen. To you. Seventeen. Not about seventeen. Not about seventeen. And I have sold it. Sold it. Sold it. Sixteen. Sixteen. Not about seventeen. 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 Not about so I'll take a chance every time. That's why oh, I keep yeah. surviving. Good luck. Well, looks pretty good. Ceiling looks good. No cracks. Living room, we check that off. Minimum. First impressions are pretty good. Mm. But that's all they are. First impressions. That's not a good sign. had water damage under this house. Dad gummit, I knew this was a mistake. It's called a bad buy bungalow. Well, if I'm gonna make any money out of this deal, I'm gonna have to remodel it really quick. Oh, Lord. That's had water damage. Major water damage. Oh, Lord. That's probably all rotted out. That faucet's been leaking, no wonder. Mmm, should have used my gut instinct and not even bought this rascal. But bought it he has, and now he's got to move it. Coming up, quarter. Shim it up. Getting the house on the truck, then moving it 40 miles to the renovation lot is pretty much as easy as it gets. Much harder is working out what to do with it. The bungalow has two bedrooms, each with its own bathroom, and a kitchen, dining area, and living area, all in separate rooms. Let's make it a sellable house. To help him out, Randy's brought in a designer, Adam. Let's take a look. This is a great porch, Randy. Oh, well, you know, we're, this running, a really... we're running a little behind here. My biggest issues I see in here is it's, it's so close. It's sort of a box feeling. You come in, it's awesome. not much bigger than a bedroom, you know, mm -hmm. so... I really want to open this up, you know? Yeah, So I love that. I mean, I think you definitely, we could take down this wall, lease back to about here. Yeah. Open it up so you get the bright light from this big window in the front, but you're also getting the light from this window over here in the dining. Okay. As you can see in here, we've already started cutting the floor and out doing some inspection. And uh, we got, what, three different transitions? Oh, yeah. We got linoleum, we got tile, we got carpet. I agree. We got to get rid of this stuff and uh, have one floor that flows throughout. I'm thinking a nice laminate. 
Yeah, I agree with you there. So these bedrooms, I want to dress them up a little bit in the sense of uh, I really don't care much about this paneling. Get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. This paneling is cheap to me. Yeah. Um, it's it's not vintage. It's just old. Yeah. And then get rid of these carpets for sure and continue our flooring throughout. This bathroom's horrible and you know it. We're going to replace the carpet, take out the prefab shower, put in tile. And then these fixtures change on it all. We're going to get rid of the cabinet, toilet, sink, everything goes. Adam's plan is to leave the bedrooms and bathrooms where they are. But the kitchen, dining room, and living room will all be opened up by taking out a wall and building a breakfast bar. And people can have a conversation here in the morning over coffee or in their day with a cocktail. What do you think? I like that concept. Now let's talk about the rest of this kitchen. It's got to be a gut job. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's nothing in here I want to reuse. We'll get rid of these cabinets. You know, we'll do the walls, repaint. I can do that. And then countertops. Yeah, let's go for it. While Randy's house was easy to move, it's a different story for the Young Guns converted garage. The concrete slab can't be moved, so before the house is lifted, the walls are reinforced with particle board. And a new subfloor is made out of 2x6 lumber. Close to $3,000 later, the converted garage can hit the road. in the renovation lot the house can be changed from the converted garage it is you notice the brand new floor here i did to the man cave cody wants we done got it here it's on a solid foundation it's riding tight it's ready for the design queen let's hear it all right so this is the door now i right. want to close that put the front door right here in the middle and then we'll do a new roof i've thought maybe possibly doing a metal roof. I have Hey, that. metal's mainly. We love metal roofs. I need like that. That's the direction we're going. All right. Okay. So no door here. That door's gone. And then front door is going to be here. New front door, you come in, new entrance, new house. Okay, so you're going to take the ceiling out and I want to do vaulted ceilings. Okay. Make it look a lot bigger. Let the natural light. Love that idea. No problem. In. Copy that. So then the kitchen will be over here. So that'll be closed in. So we'll have a big dining room table. And then I wanted to do a window and let the sink be under the window. You know, so when you're washing dishes, you can look outside. And then I want a wall right here. This will be the bathroom. Correct. And this will be the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then over here is going to be the bedroom. So it's not going to have any walls. So I only got to build two walls? Mm -hmm. Okay. Susie wants the doorway moved to the center. There'll be a bathroom and kitchen on one side and room for a bed and living area on the other side. Sounds good, but it's not looking much like a man cave. So what is it going to be, baby? Okay. What's the design plan? Imagination. Got it. All right. Mother-in-law suite. So what is it going to be, babe? Okay. What's the design plan? Mother-in-law suite. Mother, when do we start doing mother-in-law suites? Kind of like a shabby, chic look. But what happened to, like, the manly metal theme and the real cool I mean, we can't red do on and everything. black and stainless steel and chrome? I know this was a garage, but it's not going to be when I get done with it. We need it. to carry that kind of theme through the thing, you know what I'm talking about? Not on this project, honey. There goes the man cave idea. Make way for the shabby, chic mother-in-law suite. But this is Cody, and it's already looking more shabby than chic. The Lone Wolf's Bad Buy Bungalow is also getting a demo. Trouble is, the Bad Buy Bungalow has just got a whole lot better. Last night, we almost had the roof fall in on us. We started popping that sheetrock. Of course, the only thing holding it was the sheetrock and the lid. Anybody get hurt? No, sir, nobody got hurt. Oh, thank God. Thank God. There's part of a beam missing from some earlier remodel, and the whole roof is in danger of collapsing. That means more money and more time. Let's build a hog back. That way you can carry that load from one end to the other. Mm -hmm. But I want it standing tall where it'll carry that weight. I don't have no sagging, because you know when we sell the house, we gotta move it again. Yes, sir. So uh, what, what, kind of, what kind of time are we looking here? We set back a few days. A few days? Yeah. Really? Yes, sir. Let's get some extra men in here and get on this, because I ain't got a few days. <laughs> A hogback beam runs the whole length of the house, and it's supported at each end. Be prepared to move on your feet, and don't let it tear up my house. We can't take that little main wall out. 
until that's secured, strapped, screwed, nailed, and ready to go. With the hogback beam in place, the supports between the dining room and living area can be taken out. But now there's another problem Randy's only just thought about. The bathroom. The two bathrooms open into the bedrooms. But that means to get to the bathroom, you have to walk into one of the bedrooms. Randy's solution is easy and cheap. Instead of having two bathrooms, we're going to have one big bathroom. All right. So we're going to lose a toilet. We're going to lose a shower. But we're going to make it where it's a plus. Because what I want to do is I want to put a big bath here with double shower heads. Okay. And over here, this is a master and this is a secondary bedroom right here. You got your own private bath to the master. That's I, I think idea. it's going to be a bigger plus. It's going to sell the house. The double-sized bathroom will have a new door into the living area, but it'll also keep its door into the master bedroom. That's going to be a whole lot nicer. Yeah, that's going to make that house. The shabby chic mother-in-law suite is still looking pretty shabby, but at least it now has a vaulted ceiling. All right, now that's living. Look at that. Hang it from it. Make sure I'm good. I'll make sure I'm on my line real good. The mother-in-law suite will be open plan. So the only internal walls that are needed are for the bathroom. So now when you go in the bathroom, people can't see you. Now for the new front door. All it takes is some sawing, some new lumber, some nails, and there you have it. Cool. New door. Nice door. I love the new front door area. We removed it to the front here instead of from the side. The front, so yep. It actually looks like a front door. Right. So I was looking and thinking, really think that we should add something. Like what? Dormers. Why dormers? Because it'll. Idea. Are you serious? It'll add value to the house. We're going to have to cut a hole in the roof and then cut into the sheetrock, frame all that in, re sheetrock it. But y'all need to look at the bigger picture. You're just slowing down progress, girl. I know. It'll let natural light in. It'll make it almost give it a two-story fill. And I you like can do the it. idea. I just wish it would have came a little sooner. I think it's a good idea. I just don't really feel like Okay, it's... good. So you both said it was a good idea. Thank you. That's all I needed. Let's make it happen. Woo! Now we just got to get up on top. The dormers are adding another half day and a thousand bucks to the remodel. So they better be worth it. More to the right. Look to your left. My left to your left. Your left. Does it really look that much different from down there? Absolutely, dude. It looks awesome. I can't wait to see the other one on there. It's lined up right above them windows. It looks great. So Susie was right? Absolutely, she was. Randy's bad by bungalow is costing him big time. First, it was replacing the water-damaged floors. Then it was replacing broken ceiling beams. Now, Randy's spending up on custom-made kitchen cabinets. That'd be great. That'd be great. I want some really nice cabinets, okay? Because uh, this is really going to be the selling point of this house. This kitchen, this open flow area from the living room, dining room, kitchen. Okay. No problem. I'm really looking forward to see how these are going to look in so here. We'll go maple. We'll see. We're going to stain these. Okay. I'm going to go maple. Okay. Sounds good. What kind of time frame are we looking here? Uh, usually about 10 days. 10 days? I want some really nice cat. Okay. What kind of time frame are we looking here? Uh, usually about 10 days. 10 days? Any way we can shorten that up? If, if we don't stain them in the factory and we stain them on site, we can have them in five days. We got to do that. If you can do that, I can handle stain. All right. Sounds Thank great. You. All right. Thanks, Randy. Appreciate you yes, coming sir. out. The Young Guns Converted Garage is slowly becoming the mother-in-law suite Susie wanted. The vaulted ceiling creates a sense of space, and the dormers let the light flood in. A wood grain laminate floor goes down, and the new drywall is painted the kind of pastel yellow every mother-in-law is going to love. Randy's bungalow may have been a bad buy, but it's now beginning to look good. Five days after being ordered, the kitchen cabinets arrive. Cabinets, eh? Randy's ordered them raw to save time and money. Woo. Even so, at over 6000 bucks, this is a big investment, which he's hoping will pay off at auction time. Smell of new wood. That's the smell of new money, ain't it? Yes, it is. Randy's so keen to get the house flipped as quickly as he can, he kind of forgot to tell his designer that he turned two bathrooms into one. Hey, Randy? Yeah. Randy, what is this? Well, I just come in one night and decide to knock all of it down. 
I'm strange like that, Jim. Okay. I had this great idea. Yeah? And the whole concept was to have an entrance in from the main body of the house. Well, I love that. You know. Adam's choice of large tiles will work a treat in the new larger bathroom. Wood grain tile. Okay, so that'll be all around the back, the back of the is, shower. It's going to be all the way around, huh? Yeah. Contrast against this pure white subway tile that I got. But they're large subway tiles, about this size. Well, it'll make it look like a Texas-sized bathroom. It's going to be a Texas-sized bathroom, that's right. Laying the shower tiles vertically makes the bathroom ceiling look higher, while laying the subway floor tiles lengthwise makes the bathroom feel longer. The Young Guns in Casey's converted garage is looking more and more like a mother-in-law suite. But with Cody and Susie busy with other projects, it's up to Casey to carry on. The upper kitchen cabinets are getting a coat of antique white. That was my dad's favorite color. Everything in the house, antique white. The lower cabinets are apple green. I can move houses, I can remodel houses, but when it comes to decorating, not really my thing. It's time to start calling in some favors. Coming to the rescue with, let's call it a womanly touch, is contractor Katrina. Okay. So post getting these cabinets in, what else do we have to do? We have the bathroom to finish out. We have knobs to install. We have the vanity to install. We have tons of painting to do. And we only have a week to get all this oh. done before auction. First job is a vintage nightstand, which is going to be converted to a bathroom vent. So with your drawer in, how is your drain going to work? Hmm. Hadn't Drains thought about that. In the drawer. Well... My first thought would be just to simply take the drawer completely out and just glue the thing on there, but then it's not functional. It'd be nice to have a drawer. It would definitely be a bonus. Tell you what, if we were just to simply cut this thing right here where the pipe comes through. So it'd just be shorter. Just a little shorter, but it'd still be usable. I think you should do that. Okay, cool. A vintage nightstand with a modern sink and a modern faucet. That's Casey's first lesson in shabby chic. The vertical siding on one end doesn't match the lap siding everywhere else, so off it comes. On goes a brand new metal roof, and a stylish gray exterior is perfect for a stylish mother-in-law. Honey, I'm home. The shabby chic bathroom needs a bit more chic to make it a little less shabby. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take your standard old normal mirror, which is relatively inexpensive, mm -hmm. and we're going to take these flowers, okay, different kinds of flowers here, and essentially we're going to dip them in the plaster that you've mixed up, Right. And it kind of gives it more of a vintagey feel. Okay. We're just going to dip it once so that we have some color coming through. And then after it dries, we'll put them around the bottom of the mirror. What mother-in-law doesn't like flowers? It's going to look great, I promise. I know it Not sounds really crazy. It's flowery kind of thing, but we'll see what it looks like. Dressing up a mirror with glued-on plastered flowers is certainly one way to capture the heart of a mother-in-law. <laughs> Randy's bad by bungalow is refusing to give him a break. First it was the floor, then the ceiling. Now it's Randy's expensive custom-made cabinets. We've got a couple problems, issues, with these cabinets. We built to your plans, and then they bring me these cabinets, and they're installed in the room. They're too long. What do you mean too long? We got a couple problems, issues with these cabinets. They're too long. What do you mean too long? My plans call for 54, and that's what we got on the wall. We built them spec. Okay, well here's here's the problem <laughs> right here. 118 inches across here, and yours is 111. It's been approved by you. Well, I guess I made a mistake <laughs> there. I don't know. Maybe I didn't send you the the uh, new updated plans, but you know we can't send these cabinets back, and I sure ain't gonna cut them off. Randy's mix-up of plans will take half a day to fix by building out the half wall another seven inches. At the shabby chic mother-in-law suite, Katrina's getting all arty with the projector and tracing. It's not exactly Casey's cup of tea. Hi. Why are you doodling on freshly painted walls? It's going to be floral. What it does is it kind of separates the spaces. I mean, if you look at it, from a design aspect, there's nothing to kind of separate where the bed's going to go in the bedroom and what leads you into the bathroom. Look, just shut the door, okay? Shut the door and you'll see the whole thing. 
There's no it's, way. It's going to make sense. I oh, promise. I cannot wait. Okay. When was the last time you drew on the wall? Kindergarten. It's a great opportunity to take you back to your youth. Back at the California bungalow, Randy's saving money by staining kitchen cabinets himself. Great. So I guess we can start staining the floors there, huh? These custom cabinets are really going to pop in this kitchen. People are going to walk in. It's going to immediately raise the value of this house. You know, the sweat equity you have here, it's, it's money saved, money earned, you know? Mm-hmm. Randy's saving more money by creating a faux concrete countertop on the new breakfast bar. Seven layers of concrete are smoothed onto the plywood base. One layer down, six to go. The countertop and backsplash tiles have the kitchen done and dusted. All those different floor coverings are now replaced with wood laminate. And on the outside, the vertical siding's removed, new windows go in, and the lap siding goes up, complete with a few rows of decorative shake shingle siding. It's sort of like putting gin gingerbread on the house, you know what I mean? At the mother-in-law suite, Casey's nearing the finish line. That actually does look pretty cool. Awesome for mother-in-law. Wouldn't have it in my bathroom, but it does look good. It looks great. Let's get this place staged. What I'm talking about, auction time. A truckload of mother-in-law style furniture will turn the converted garage into a shabby chic home. And there's nothing like brand new appliances to give the house a sparkle. A garden full of plants on the outside will keep those green fingers busy. And then it's up to the house inspector to give the home a safety ticket approval. With those finishing touches done, the house is ready for buyers. Outside the house, I really like the door. I love the metal roofing. I, I love the shape of the house. I really love those dormers. Those are really nice. On the outside, the wood siding was patched and painted. A new roof added, plus those dormer windows, all up 3400 bucks. I really like the open space. It seemed much more spacious than the actual square footage says, and the high ceilings make it really nice. The vaulted ceiling, drywall, and laminate floors came in at a neat 3000 I like this. It adds a lot of character to the wall. The open floor pan in the kitchen area, that's a big plus for me. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. The kitchen cabinets, tiled backsplash, and laminate countertop added $1,400 to the bottom line. Wow, this is really unique. Oh, wow, that's great. Full handles on, on the vanity and that gorgeous mirror that they did. Right. It's not a standard, you know, out-of-the-box kind of mirror. It's really pretty. In the shower with, with the, the tub. glass tiles and the tub. It's awesome. The bathroom was built from scratch. Bath and shower, vintage vanity, tiling and toilet. Pretty and pink for just eighteen hundred. The young guns and Casey bought the old garage for three hundred. Building the subfloor and moving the house was expensive at five thousand eight hundred. The entire remodel cost a fraction over seventeen thousand. So all up, the house owes them twenty three thousand two hundred. They spent a load of sweat converting the old garage into the cutest mother-in-law suite. In fact, it's so cute, one of the buyers doesn't want to risk it going to auction. Yes, sir, how can I help? Uh, listen, we really want to buy this house. Okay. I'd like to offer you cash right now. So you're talking about before the auction? Yes, sir. I can't authorize that. I but what I will do, I'll ask the seller. Yes, sir, how can I help? Listen, we really want to buy this house. Okay. I'd like to offer you $39,000 cash right now. So you're talking about before the auction? Yes, sir. Yeah. I can't authorize that. I understand. But what I will do, I'll ask the seller. All right, okay. let's do it. Seconds. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Hey, listen, this guy comes up here and he says he wants to pay $39,000 right now. I mean, he says he's got the cash money. They registered, and I believe them. But this is the deal. Are you kidding me? No. Listen, if, if, if you take it right now, I'm going to have to get up there and you got a buyer. I mean, but it's up to you. I mean, we can have an offer. Man, I was wanting 32, and he said 39. 39 is the deal. I'm in. Huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement. I have now on the table an offer of $39,000, and my seller says he is going to take that money. I say, sold, sold, sold. $39,000. Sold $39,000. Cool, cool, cool. All Thank right. you, guys. Thank you. What a curveball that was. Excited. We just wanted to have the house. Yeah, no doubt. That happens like once in a blue moon, somebody pulls something like that. You guys really must want the house. Well, we're ready to go on it. Thank you guys so much. Get in there and Thank enjoy you. the house. We will. Thank yeah. you very much. I cannot believe how awesome a deal <clears throat> we got. so exciting. I know.
We're going to move it to some property that we own in East Texas, and it'll be a rental property. We'll be renting it out. But when you walk in, the way the open floor plan is, the vaulted ceilings, the dormers that let all the light in, it feels a lot bigger than it actually looks on the outside. And the and kitchen was great. It's spacious. It's got huge countertops, so much space for cooking. A lot and of storage. Baking. The cabinets are gorgeous with those handles. Yep. The really unique handles. The way it's laid out with the kitchen, the living room area, the bedroom area, it feels like it's different areas, that it's not just one big open space. And I know we have different ideas on the paint color in the yes. bathroom. I really like the pink because it's going to appeal to the renter that we're looking for. But... <laughs> right, but and the rest of the bathroom's great. And this decal totally sold me as soon as I opened the door. It's definitely unique, and it's the first thing you see when you open the door. It's it's right there. It's, right there. it's, it's wow, that's really cool. This is exactly what we're looking for. It's the day before auction for Randy, and he's hoping he's turned his bad buy bungalow into a California dream. Well, it's starting to shape up. Looks a lot better. Staging furniture in every room will make the dream come alive. So, too, will a new fridge and stove. And outside, a forest of trees and plants will make the house feel like it's in the woods. A home inspection to check the house complies with regulations and is safe to be sold. So now it's all up to the buyers. I like the color scheme of the exterior. I think it looks very appealing. New windows, repairs to the siding, paint, and the shake shingle came to 3400 the first thing I noticed when I walked into the house was just the openness of the space. Uh, fairly open in the living area, easy access to get into the kitchen and to the dining space. On the inside, repairing the water-damaged floors and installing the hog bag beam cost Randy over $4,000. This is really nice. The flooring, drywall, and paint added another $3,200. The original kitchen was a demo rather than a reno with all new kitchen cabinets. I'd have to say the thing that I like most about the house would be the uh, cabinetry in the kitchen. I love it that it's not too dark and it's not too light. The wood tone looks incredible to me. The kitchen cost Randy a pile of money. Custom-made kitchen cabinets, a breakfast bar, laminate floor, and countertops, together with full-height tiling, set Randy back $10,300. I'm generally not a fan of two doors into a bathroom, but still, this is nice. Yeah, but it works. Nice. It does. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Turning two bathrooms into one saved money, but with all the upscale fixtures and the floor-to-ceiling tiling, it still came to 4200 bucks. It's very spacious. The two bedrooms were a breeze. A coat of paint in each and some laminate flooring totaled 1800 Randy bought the house for $1,650. The move cost 3000 the remodel adds up to a total of 31200 So, this house owes Randy just under $36,000. We've done some great renovations in there. We got new cabinets in there, good floors, new floors. We changed the bathroom up. I spent a lot of money renovating this. Well, I, I, need, I need to do a motivation check here. I mean, how, how motivated are you to sell this and get it done with? I'd like to have like 50. 50,000. All right. Well, what happens if it drops in around there at 35? Mm, no, heck no. I got more than that in it. Well, let's, let's do this. Let's let's check and see what is going to happen. Let's see who's got money in their pocket today. I'll tell you what. If we can sell it today, I'll go as little as 42. 42.5. 42, 42.5. 42, All right, you ready to get this done? Let's get it done. All right, let's do it. Let's sell it today. Good morning, Fort Worth, Texas. Auction time, auction time. And who will give me a thousand dollars to get started right out here this morning? Thousand dollars, thank you, ma'am. Thousand dollar bid announced. Twenty five hundred now. Five thousand dollar bid announced. Seven and a half. Ten thousand dollar bid announced. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half now. Fifteen thousand dollar bid announced. Seventeen and a half and twenty. Twenty now. Twenty two and a half. 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 Take it now, 32. Hey, 32 now. 33,000 would have been to my mom on the 33 and a board of order. Now, I would have been to my mom on the 34 and a 5. 35, 5, 5, 35, get in. 35. Hey, now, 35, 37, now, 36. One time, I'll let you in. 36. Now, 7. 36 and a 7 would have been to my mom. 37 now. 38,000. 38,000 would have been to my mom on the 38,000. Now, 39,000. 39,000. Now, 40. Hey, 40,000. 40,000. Get in. Would have been to my mom on the 40,000. Now, 41,000. 41,000. Get in. Would have been to my mom on the 41. 41, 41, 41. 41, 41, 41. It's all the money we got. What are we going to do? <laughs> 41, 41. It's all the money we got. What are we going to do? I'll sell it. 
The seller says he's going to sell it. Get in now. 41,000, 41,000, 41,000, 41, 41, 41. Hammer's high. We're going to sell it. You say no, and I say, go, go, go. $40,000, sold $40,000. Hey, looks like you got a deal at $43 a square foot. I'm excited about this. Well, you got a pretty good deal, so when you get ready to move it, I'll let me. We'll go from there. You leave me your number, I'll call you. All right. Thanks, sir. The house here will fit in perfectly on the land. We have about 80 acres down in South Texas. Great view of the deer that are passing through there and anything else that fits in the property. I, I love the blue, I love the softness of it, actually, and the more somber, kind of relaxing tones that it sets. The area really flows one space into another really nicely. The main space will be a good place for the family to congregate. We can actually converse and look at each other wherever we are within that space. The storage space in the kitchen is important because you know, we have, we're going to have a few family members down there. We obviously have needs of dishes and plates and other things. It looks like it's going to be plenty there. Well, it's always great to have new tile and fresh tile in the bathroom because it just makes it look clean. It makes it look fresh. It makes it look inviting. It's just really comfortable. I'm going to sit down and just relax and enjoy the space. The Lone Wolf spent a total of $35,850 on the house. And with the sale price of $40,000, that gives him a profit of just over four grand. Casey and the Young Guns spent $23,000 on their converted garage. A uh, once-in-a-lifetime buyer gave them thirty-nine grand for it, so their profit was a whopping $15,800. I said, what? Pretty good competition there. I might take some notes out. Yeah, you need to get some pointers from this get guy. Pointers? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, a blind dog, you know, he gets a bone every now and then. Never heard that one. Well, shoot, you got both your eyes, right? I do. <laughs> I got to get going. Keep I got I to get another one picked another up, ready one. to roll. All right. I'll, I'll send someone over to video of what you're doing there. <laughs>